Josh, off you go. We're on our way. How are you feeling? Well, I don't know. I, I couldn't talk then because he, he was still flat to the floor. He's off to a good start. A fast one, let me tell you. Is he a good listener, Jamie? Uh, a bit slow on the reaction time. You've got to go over the jump, but I don't want you to jump over the jump, right? So this will be a test for young Mitch. Well, I think the good thing about that is that he's got Jamie in there with him. Miles of experience, and he's going to talk him through the whole thing. It's probably the best way for someone to actually have their first experience because it's going to keep him out of trouble, not let him get into trouble. Well, you better slow down soon, otherwise that's going to kick. <laughs> You're talking about hard on the gear. Crikey. Oh, well, test the gear. <laughs> Most people would never consider driving through water like days. Is, you know, if it's flooded, forget it, and all that yep. sort of stuff. But the cold, hard reality is, out in the bush, sometimes there's no way through it, and that is just the road. Well, we saw Mitch in the Can-Am, and uh, he was uh, very, very calm and collected. How's he looking now, Jamie? Oh, he's calm and collected, but he's got a very heavy foot. Mitchell, are you mm. listening? I am. He is. Sorry, Angie. Thanks, Macca. That was nice and easy. Well, you keep saying that at the end of every one of them, we'll know you've had a good day. <laughs> well, I hope he goes this a little bit slower, otherwise he's going to wipe this van out. He's so fast. Now, the Panther has the battery box on the outside and the grey water tank is a bit lower and the step's a bit lower. So are these going to cause issues coming through like that? Sometimes things aren't as they appear, but we'll find out as it comes through. You're right, the grey water tank does appear low and may interfere with its departure angle, but... He's I'm come out sure. unscathed. Well, there well, was a little scrape though, wasn't I'm there? I'm pretty sure there was a stone guard that may have hit the ground uh, there. We'll have to check that out later in the replay. Come on, Mitch, show us what you're made of. I'm hanging on. I know you're an adrenaline junkie. Come on. I've got my feet down like I've got brakes ready. See how it starts to get that little tail end wiggle? Yeah. It's um, yeah, completely different driving downhill on the dirt than it is uphill because that caravan will almost want to catch the, the vehicle and start pushing it. And that's what can do that little tail end swish. Mm -hmm. Watch your corner here. Not scared of the corners, is he? No, he is not. I have not nice. seen a brake light come on that no. yet. <laughs> well, you're kicking up a fair bit of dust there. Cloud of dust behind him, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, I reckon we went airborne, close to it. I think you're doing extremely well, but this is soft sand. I would recommend you listen to the man in the passenger seat, mate. Will do. You'll be all right, mate. Follow the instructions and you'll just fill over at home. He's got his work cut out for him right about now. Yeah, you're right. And that's that normal thing we've spoken about it before. As the day goes on and the sun comes out and it dries all the moisture out, the sand does get softer. I think his advantages here are he's got a lower caravan than we've seen come through here and it's lighter. So if he uses his passenger, Jamie, for advice and influence mm -hmm. and he follows those instructions, I think he'll actually come through here all right. If he doesn't, we're in the box seat to watch a show, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Go, 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 go. Not too much, not too much. Yep, go, 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 go. They need to be carrying momentum mm. to get through over those humps that are quite soft. To this point here, once you get to the corner, you've got to watch some of that skin to oh, the rough, oh, and that's oh, the problem, oh, and that's oh, where he's going oh, right now. Oh, oh. Now you need to be back on that gas, but like I said, you don't want the wheels spinning. He did it. He's absolutely Came done it. No, but that was great driving. You've done a great job. Well, power to weight ratio, tows it all right, this car, and the van handles it well. All right, well, we've got the hill ahead of us, Mitch. Tell me, how would you sum up the Mega Track and what you've done so far? Compared to yesterday's in the speed test, uh, yep. the Mega Track, just an awesome all round track. That's great. That's great. Well, I'm glad you really enjoyed it. It's really put everything through the test, is not it? Is it the finish line? I know. <laughs> well, we're sitting here chatting. He's at the finish line. Well done. High five. Yeah. No. <laughs> Good stuff. Good fun. The quiet Good achiever. Good work, mate. You nailed it. Mitch, that Goldstream Panther did the track in style, and you looked like a true off-road pro. The Panther has completed the mega test track in 7 minutes and 53 seconds, with only one 15-second penalty for touching in the wombat holes. Even with the penalty, the Panther has taken the lead by 8 seconds. This is the fastest time we've seen yet on the mega test track.